I've always believed in the hope of Christmas. No matter how hard life is, no matter how much we've messed up. What time is it, Mama? 9.30. Or how broken our lives have become. At Christmas, good things can happen. He'll be here, baby. Smoky Mountains and happy December. That's 600 hours, 3,600 minutes, or 25 days until Christmas. Now the highs today are gonna be in the mid 30s, so hey, put on your grandmama's sweater, break out your Aunt Edna's fruit cake, and pour yourself another cup of that eggnog latte. Whatever you do, button up tight as you start your day today. Hi, I'm DJ Bailey, and we are WMTM 93.7, and this is your Tennessee Mountain Christmas Station. Up next, we've got a new Christmas song from Mason Wyatt to kick off our commercial-free Christmas marathon. It's Mason Wyatt with O Come All Ye Faithful. Wait, hey, good. You look nice, Shook. Thank you. You try not to burn this place down while I'm gone? No promises. Good luck, dear. Thank you. Mama. You're welcome. <laughs> That's right, Trish Green. It's Mason Wyatt Day down in Pine Valley. Why don't you remind our listeners why today is so special? Well, our very own country music superstar, Mason Wyatt, will be dancing live on TV to raise money for the Nashville Children's Home. Oh, does it get any better than that, people? That's right, Trish. Now, hey, he'll be dancing on the hit show Dancing Country. So come on out, everybody, for a local viewing at the Holly Theater to support our local legend, the one, the only, Mason Wyatt. Wyatt! Oh, I cannot wait to see this. We'll have gifts, prizes, and lots of fun, folks. So come on out, everybody, and support Mason Wyatt. People, trust me, you don't want to miss this. How's life? I am doing good, Mayor. How are you? I'm alive, so I'm smiling. <laughs> Blackberry crumb. Hmm, I think we'll put this one under the counter. 
So, uh, you coming tonight? Well, 50-50. 50-50? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. This is for you. Thank you. All right. Merry December. Ha! <laughs> Merry December. <laughs> Your little fella's falling asleep over there. <laughs> Come on, fella. It's Christmas. Got to stand on your own two feet. This is my favorite time of the year, all the cocoa, the lights, the trees, all the present. But let's not forget why we celebrate this wonderful season. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And they were so afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. So, what do you think? This would really allow us to do some things, you know? Create twice the inventory, generate some revenue, maybe create some jobs. Okay, your silence is killing me, Mr. Robertson. I don't know what to say, Shelby. Well, say yes. It'll make us both feel better. I thought this meeting was in reference to a letter you received about bringing your accounts current, not buying more land. Now, loaning you additional money at this point would be impossible. Look, I know we're not breaking the bank lately, but that letter, we thought it was a notice, just like all the others. You have always worked with us in the past. I'm sorry, but no. We've been generous in the past, but with the takeover, our policies have changed. That farm has been in my family for 40 years, longer than this bank has been here. I understand, but now may be the time for you to try to find a way to make sure that your house and land avoids foreclosure. Certain interests are doing everything they can to convince the county commission to allow unprecedented development in that area. Now your property and the adjoining land would finally make that happen. Ralph Baxter, he has been trying to build that tourist trap for years. It's not gonna happen. The town's not gonna go for it. That would change who we are. Look outside. A lot has changed over the years. Well, I'm not agreeing to it. It's our land, it's our crop, and it's certainly not his. For now. Until the bank has to foreclose on you for non-payment. Then it goes to the highest bidder. And we both know who that is.
right, folks, everybody settle down just a little bit if you would. Again, I'm DJ Bailey. I'm your host tonight. Please listen to my radio show on WMTN. That's 93.7, number one on the dial, number one in your hearts. If you would, thank you for your support. But look here. I have got the grand prize right here in my hand, the big one. This is a Mason Wyatt autograph CD and two tickets to see him over in Knoxville at the Knoxville Center for the Arts. It's going to be a live concert. Get to see the boy in person. Are we ready? Get your tickets out. Who wants some of this right here, huh? Yeah, yeah. All right. Here we go. I'm going to stir it up good make sure it's fair. Fair for everybody. And there it is right there. Ready? Excited? Here it is. One, five, three, four, two, seven. Who we got? Oh, Miss Donna, Donna Clark. Come on up, Donna. Come on up, Donna, and get your prize. Hey, I expect on seeing your face here tonight. Yeah, well, that makes two of us. Mm. I heard you on the radio. I sound like Minnie Pearl. <laughs> I did. I'm so bad. <laughs> Are you nervous? I am not the one dancing. Oh. All right, everyone, if you would, please take your places. The show's about to start. All right, now, let's hear it for Dancing Country, the number one show in America. It's time for Dance in Country, a one-night-only special to benefit children around the world. Tonight, your favorite country music celebrities will dance the night away, and all for a good cause. Tonight's show features Charlie Wilkins, Mabel Rhymes, Mason Wyatt, and Shelly Hunter. Let's hear a little from our first dancer, Mason Wyatt. I'm not perfect, you know, I don't claim to be. Uh, but I do hope my mistakes don't define me. So people give me another chance, you know. Can you give me a sec? Uh, I'm doing this because I want to show people that I, I haven't forgotten where I came from. I feel like I'm misunderstood, you know, more, more than anything. I, I don't think uh, the bad boy thing is, that's not me. I'm a good man, ready to go. Let's dance our faces off. Oh my gosh. You know, small town boy, small town values. Uh, I'm here to work. Where's Mason? I work hard. You know, that's what I do. Always. Uh, I don't do anything halfway. Again? Uh, I'm excited. Seriously? It'll be fun. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> Are you done? Up first, we have Mason White and Lana Parker dancing for the Nashville Children's Home.
to mention that. Good evening, here. ladies. It's too late for coffee, Daddy. Ah, uh, it's never too late for coffee. Unlike your mama, I can always go to sleep and wake up whenever I need to. <laughs> what are y'all working on? We're in trouble, Daddy. Yeah, we've been there before. Well, not like this. We might lose the house. Yeah, I've been there before, too. It's winter. I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Take a look at that. As far as I know, a child was born in that manger. Everything's gonna be all right. You're a strong woman, Shelby Bell. We raised you that way. But there's some things strong just don't fix. You need a good dose of hope. And you're not gonna get that rooting through them papers in the middle of the night. Now, the sun will come up tomorrow, I promise you, just like it always does. But what you need tonight is a good night's sleep. Good night, honey. You too. <laughs> I'm gonna start mine right now. He's right. We're fighters. We'll make it. Brother Bud? Nine little word for a popular Christmas dessert. Fruitcake. No, nah, no, nah, doesn't fit. Try it. Mm. Mince meat. Ah, 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 ah that'll brief. <laughs> Mason Wyatt? In the flesh, Mr. Hagan. <laughs> Good morning, sir. I thought my eyesight was failing me, but my ears were shooting 2020. It seems like they are. <laughs> it's good to see you, son. Good to see you. Um, you watched it then, I guess. Watched what? You didn't see it. See what? Eight letter word for a 70s icon. Travolta. Oh, bam! Ha-ha! <laughs> That'll work. You didn't see it, huh? <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> oh, yeah, we saw it. We all saw it. I wasn't there. And it sure looked like you. Sounded like you. Strutted like a rooster like you. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Did the interview rounds this morning? When looking for somewhere to bury my head in the sand, I valley seemed like the place, so. Um. Ah, oh, go ahead. Ask me. Get it over with. You saw me coming from a mile away. Oh, huh? before you ever came around the corner. I wish it. She's Shelby. Still got that fire. Any chance she hates me any less after all these years? Yeah. Like I said, she still shelled me. I can't blame her if she does, I guess. Oh, she'll talk to you. I 
doubt it's what you want to hear, but uh, she got some things she wants to say to you. You know, I try to reach out to that girl like a hundred times over the years and nothing. <laughs> that first year, burning all those photographs sure did keep the house warm. Great. Lord, we thank you for this food, for the nourishment of our bodies, and for you provisioning for us. And please, Lord, make sure we take the time to think of you and your life during this holiday season. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen to that. Okay. Is the gun case locked? Always. Why? Oh, no reason. Hey, Selby Bell. It's good to see you. Hey! Don't call me that. Um. Right, let the man in, will you? He's, he's, he's gonna freeze to death out there. Daddy, will you explain to me why you're not surprised that Mason Wyatt is at our front door? Because I asked him to dinner. Hey, stop that. Shelby, the world is gonna keep spinning around. Let the man in before he freezes to death. Thank y'all again for inviting me tonight. It's been a long time since I sat down for a home-cooked meal, so everything looks incredible, man. Thank you. You're welcome. I ran into Mason over at Bud's. I figured, well, wouldn't be a bad idea for us to catch up over some sweet tea. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was just, I was running around just getting some stuff together. It's good to see you. Well, for your sake, I hope you run better than you dance. <laughs> I kind of teed that one up for you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this is delicious. I'm glad you like it. How long are you going to be hanging around town, son? You know, I'm not really sure. Yeah, Mason, why are you here? I mean, I'm sure there's some selfish reason, but I, for one, would really like to know why Mason Wyatt has decided to grace our little town with his presence. And while you're at it, you can stop with all the sappy, okie-dokie yes-sirs and yes-ma'ams. Oh, did, did you want me to give you an answer? You're just gonna keep taking shots at me. <laughs> I was telling your dad earlier, I lost touch. And I know that. And uh, I was thinking, I was hoping that spending some time here back in town would help jar my memory. Maybe even help me write some new songs that would show who I really am. So you're right, Shelby. I am back in town for selfish reasons. And I told him that we had plenty of room out here. Daddy! Hey! What do you keep doing that for? Not in my house. You want honesty, Mason? Do you? Well, honestly, we are about to lose everything. This house, the farm, everything that we have spent decades working for. Do you know how that feels? Build something with your hands, have somebody come in and take it from you? We need money, and we need it quick. So, yeah, you can stay here for a price. I'm thinking, $4,000 a month, but it's Christmas, so I'm gonna charge you five. Cat got your tongue? I can do that. Cash. In advance. Fine. Great, you can sleep in the barn. Can you excuse me? Well, 
that went about how I thought it would. There's usually some method to your daddy's madness. I know, Mama. It's gonna be some Christmas for sure. What's wrong with you? You really haven't heard? Heard what? Mason is back in town. Mason? Mason. Ma'am. Mason Wyatt? Mason Wyatt. Uh, Ma'am. So, have you seen him? Yeah. yeah, you could say that. He slept in our barn last night. Ma'am. Girl, you were stopped by lying to me. I wish I was. He sat down for dinner and everything. <laughs> he had fly on that wall. I want to see Santa. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. How'd he look? I didn't notice. Oh, please. <laughs> Ma'am. All right, ladies. Look at this one. This is Thank all yours. You. Yay! It's my best one. Bye, ladies. Bye-bye. Merry Christmas. Bye. Merry Christmas. <laughs> oh, you didn't notice? Uh -uh. I don't believe that any longer. It took you to say it. Because Mason Wyatt's a lot of things, but <laughs> hard to look at ain't one of them. No, your head must be a mess. It already was. Mason limping back into town is the last thing I need. It's December 3rd and a brisk morning out there. 22 more sleeps until Christmas. In honor of that, let's give away 22 Christmas sprinkled donuts from JoJo's Donut Factory. That's just too shy of two dozen, folks. And tell you what, do the uh, first caller who can call in and tell me the name of Rudolph's girlfriend is going to win themselves some donuts. Caller number one, you're on the air. Is it Clary? Looks like we've got ourselves a Rudolph fan. <laughs> you just won, darling. And that's oh, right. Man. That's right. You get 22 Christmas donuts. Cows. What? Mm. Cows. Probably blocking the road up ahead. I mean, you know what happened just last week. Yeah. You, you know, I got to say, this, is, this has got to be my lucky day. I mean, running into you way out of here like this. How's that? Well, it, it's funny you should ask. Um, you see, I got this personal matter I'd like to discuss with you. I mean, <laughs> if you got a minute. Well, <clears throat> apparently I do. Well, that's just great. Here, let me help you. All righty. You see, 
I heard about your problems. And it's a terrible shame. Such beautiful property. Have you heard that my company is purchasing all the nearby land around you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to help you out as well. Mm -hmm. The Haygood Farm deed, I'd like to make an offer. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You want to become a farmer, do you? No, no, heck no. <laughs> I just want the land. You want to develop it? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. I think you'd help out the town a lot. It's not for sale. <laughs> not yet. You have a nice day. Knock, knock. Don't worry, I come in peace. With cash. Your dad told me all about the bank stuff, and times are a little tight for me, too, but I hope this helps. I'll count it later. I'm sure you will. You won't even know I'm here. That ship has sailed. Mason. Okay. Good talk. Exactly. But we come up here every year to grab our tree, and on our way to grab breakfast, we ran into this place. Well, great. We are here every Saturday. <laughs> That's what I heard. So I'm guessing today is my lucky day. <laughs> um, more. OK. Um, <laughs> look, mm. I'd love to so take good. several of these back to the home office just to see what the response is. I mean, we're always looking for good product. OK. All right, well, that's that's great. Um, just so you know, these are fresh baked every morning. Really? Wonderful. Um, well, give me, like, uh, two of each. Thank you. Ready for this? Yeah, thank you. Here you go, Got sir. It. <laughs> thank you. You know what, let me give you a brochure, too. You can check out our farm. Oh, we'll be in touch. Really, thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Take care. You always work this early? You always sleep this late? Sometimes. Sometimes? Sometimes you always sleep this late? You know what I mean. You've expanded. What? Not, not you. The farm. You've expanded the farm. You look good. You look great, Shelby. You give me a tour? Sure. Yeah. This is our farm. Over here is where we grow the blackberries, the blueberries, and then up there is the strawberries. Then in that house up there is where we make all our jams and our jellies and our pies, and it's also the place where a scared 17-year-old version of me cried herself to sleep on Christmas Eve and every other night for about six months waiting for her boyfriend to call or come home or right, like he promised. And I would try to explain that to you, Mason. I really would. But I just don't think that dog will hunt. So finally, the end of our property out there, that is where I'm about to go. Hey, Mason. That over there, 
That's the barn. That's where all the animals sleep. By unanimous consent, the commission has approved the plan to limit left turns on Wilson Road between the hours of 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. so that the crossing guards may do their job. All right, last order of business. Uh, the town will hear from uh, Mr. Ralph Baxter. Good afternoon. Uh, just a little clarification, Mr. Baxter. Uh, nothing you're presenting here today has officially been submitted beyond here, correct? That is correct. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's hear it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now, most, if not all of you, know about our plan to build a visitor center, restaurant, and business park on Highway 49 near the Haygood Farm. The benefits will be many and they have been detailed in the plan that I have submitted through the proper channels. However, I think it's important to know that we may only get the one opportunity to take our case to the people who can make things happen. So I cannot stress to you enough the importance of having the full support of this great town. I think, I think that we can all agree that revenue sharing on this... I don't. Pro <laughs> Excuse me? I'm sorry, but I, I don't agree with Mr. Baxter, not one little bit. And Shelby, I don't think we're ready to discuss this from the floor. Well, I can't sit here and listen to this. Uh, no, no, Mr. Mayor, uh, I welcome Ms. Haygood's constructive criticism. After all, our goal is to provide a service to this town, so you go right ahead, little lady. Go right ahead. All right, Shelby. What you got? We have always preserved our way of life, our mountains. You know, developing that kind of land, bringing in these kind of stores, it's going to change who we are. And there is something so special about living off the beaten path, about a simple life. Well said. Well said. But let me just say, you may refuse to evolve, Miss Haygood, but that doesn't mean the rest of us have to grow stagnant with you. I think everybody here knows that the significant portion of your business is down the mountain while the rest of us live and work here in this town. And this plan provides more revenue, more jobs. And that is something this town sorely needs. That farm, that is the only home I have ever known, and I am not going to sit quietly and let him take it. So that's what this is all about, huh? Hmm? That's what this is about. She doesn't care about the well-being of the people in this town. She only cares about what's best for the Haygood family. No, no, I care more about this town and these people than you could ever pretend to. I'm sure. Of course you do. Mr. Mayor, if I may, I'd like to submit the full proposal. And with the town support of this proposal, I would then be submitting it to the proper authority. Uh, the town accepts the submission of Mr. Baxter's proposal. We'll plan to put it to a vote as soon as those who wish to have had a chance to review the material. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. We are not quitting. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Can you wear that turtleneck tonight? The uh, red one? How much? How much do we owe? Is someone with you? 
Sorry. Darla, it's only take a minute. Shelby, is that you? Yes. Darla, honey, I'm gonna have to call you back. Oh, Shelby, darling, please. Please erase this from your memory. I will. Thanks. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And Glenn, honey, you better call me when Shelby leaves. <sighs> $41,501 to bring your line of credit current. $22,148 to bring your second mortgage current. That is $63,649. Both are due in 60 days. About half past ten, the cracked bell of the small church began to ring, and presently the people began to gather for the morning sermon. The Sunday school children distributed themselves about the house and occupied pews with their parents so as to be under supervision. Aunt Polly came, and Tom and Sid and Mary sat with her. Tom being placed next the aisle in order that he might be as far away from the open window and the seductive outside summer scenes as possible. <laughs> hey, hon. Well, I told the bank we're keeping the land. Yeah, that sounds about right. You think so? Yep. Well, now we just got to figure out a way to do that. And we will. He's not here. That's good. I don't care. Keep saying it. You might get an echo. Mm hmm Can I ask you a question? After all these years, the hate that you feel for that fella hadn't even abated a little bit. He, he made a mistake years ago, and he, he's been trying to make up for it off and on ever since. But uh, would you tell me what has this hate gotten you? You know, it ain't baggage if you don't carry it around. I remember seeing the two of you together. And I don't think I've ever seen you happier. We just want you to be happy. I'm happy. You know, this farm makes me happy. This way of life. I'm happy. Where were we? Well, Tom was sitting on the aisle away from the window. Sorry, was that too loud? No. Sounds nice. You heard her once when you left. And I didn't know if she would get over it. Now you're back. And I know she won't if it happens again. I'm asking you not to do that. No, I'm please not... just hear my words. You have my word. Okay. 
good. I don't understand, because this says that we're pre-approved. <clears throat> yes. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So we're pre-qualified, but not pre-approved. I, I, I understand completely. You can you can stop talking now. Yes. Yes, ma'am. I, I know what debt to income ratio is. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay, I understand. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Morning, sir. Morning, son. Sleep well? Yeah. Short. Booster. Yeah. The older I get, the more I dislike that creature. <laughs> <laughs> I do miss these mountains, though. Mm-hmm. How long's it been since your folks passed? Uh, Twelve years for Daddy and nine for Mama. Yeah. I think that's the last time we saw you. Had a girl on each arm, as I remember. Yes, sir. I expect that picture's burned into Shelby's mind. Your folks are good people, Mason. They were proud of you. Proud of your success. Maybe. You want some help? Always. Step right up. All right. Thank you. Now, it's been a while. So don't judge me on this alone. <laughs> a little out of practice, aren't you? Set it up again. <laughs> Best decision I ever made. Overhead is higher, but profits have nearly doubled. I tell you, pick your own is the way to go. Uh, we got a petting zoo over there. Goats, sheep, rabbits, uh, horseback riding all day long. Chuck wagon rides in the evening. Uh, Year-round store for the produce. I tell you, it's been great. Why don't you go find your mom? But, uh, you obviously didn't come here to talk about that. Well, no, sir. You know the 50 acres we have out back? Sure. It's good land. Yeah, we think so. It's always produced a great crop for us. I was wondering if you thought about expanding. You know, we could lease it to you for a season or two. Well, I really considered a sublease. You said yourself, it's good land. You know, you wouldn't have to put much time into it. Be a lot more inventory for your store. Tell you what, you bring me a proposal, I'll think about it and give you a quick decision. All right. Thank you, sir. Sure. Peaceful here. Just what I need to recalibrate, actually. Ready to go back out, sissy? Fight some games. Great. All right, well, 
Make some calls. I want to start as soon as possible. Thanks, man. Morning. Morning. This place looks good on your Shelby Bell. Shelby. Mm-hmm. You know, I miss it here. Miss the people. Miss the culture. <laughs> yeah, well, that's kind of funny, because you've been here, what, five days? A week? Spent your whole time on this farm. Licking your wounds, getting in my way. I haven't been out in town. And being a man of the people. But you always wear all hat and no cattle masons or whatever flips your pancake. Okay. Listen, I saw the note inside from the bank. About how much y'all owe. Now, I can't do much, but I thought maybe at least I could make a few phone calls. No. 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 Suit yourself. Joe Sutton's Corner in Mount Olive. Biggest order in years. Job. <laughs> Come here, we're just telling lies and chewing the fat. <laughs> good to see everybody. Uh, you know Mayor Bud there. Of course, the puzzle man. <laughs> good to see and you. And this is Coach Bullock, the meanest man in town and also tight as Dick's hat man. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, I had you for gym in junior high, actually. Yeah, I remember. You never could climb the rope. Yeah, I still can't climb the rope. <laughs> <laughs> you remember Bailey? He's on the radio as we speak. 17-minute commercial free. And as a matter of fact, Perry Como has two minutes and 28 seconds left, boys. I've enjoyed it. Got to go. Good to see you. Hey, I'd love to have you on the radio sometime, son. Come and see me. We'll okay? do it. See you later, All right, baby. And this is Cousin Larry over here. We call him Chipper because he's such a big fan of the Braves. Oh, yeah, me too. I got to sing the national anthem at Turner Field one time. Oh, yeah? Any slip-ups? No, but I wrote the lyrics on my hands. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, grab a seat. Get some grub in you. Yep, it's him, all right. Wow. OK, well, um, let me get you a menu. No, 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 that's all right. What's good? Oh, we're stuck with the oatmeal and fruit cup, but uh, if I was you, I'd just uh, live a little. I'd go for the Smoky Mountain breakfast with a side of pancakes. You can't lose. All right, Smoky Mountain breakfast with a side of pancakes, please. Um, any fruit on the pancakes? We can do blueberries, blackberries, peaches, strawberries, raspberries, elderberries, boysenberries, you name it. Blueberries. And how would you like your eggs? Oh, fried, medium, so that the, the yolk is running and nothing else. Got it. Ham, bacon, or sausage. Bring him a little of all three so we can all have a whiff. <laughs> Biscuits and gravy or grits? 
grits? Oh, well, that's fancy. Thank you. Um, could also get some black coffee, uh, if you don't mind. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. I think you made her day. No, more like a year. <laughs> I don't think I've ever made that many decisions about food in my entire life. Oh, my mama says you dance like a chicken. But I think you did real good. Thank you. Sweet girl. Blind is mad, but a sweet girl. <laughs> I'll see you fellas on Friday. All righty, we got your guitar with you? Always. We're good. Let's go. <laughs> Where are we going? I need your help on a little something that Shelby cooks up every Christmas. All right. There is a rumor. There is? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What is it? There is a rumor that Santa is on his way here. He is? He is. He oh. is. Wait, wait, wait. I, I think, I think I, I hear. Do. Did yeah, you I hear, hear that? Mm -hmm. I heard it, too. Did you guys hear him? I think I heard his reindeer. <gasps> ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas! Well, has everyone been a Yay! good little boy or girl? Yes, ma'am. Are you Mason Wyatt? <laughs> I am Mason Wyatt, yeah. Miss Shelby says you sing really pretty, but you dance. I know. She says I dance like a chicken. Nope. She says you dance like a one-legged goat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. She also says you're kind of cute. Really? Well, I'll tell you what. Can you tell Miss Shelby that the one like a goat says thank you? Okay, I will. <laughs> okay. You guys want to sing some more? Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! I need you to clap. Can you clap? Here we go. Shelby. Where, where is everybody? I had to lay them all off till spring. The bank called in my line yesterday, and it took all the cash we had just to keep this place from foreclosure. I just hope we can start back up when the new season begins. Listen, I'm sorry. We won't be in any position to expand anytime soon. I understand. Hey, yes, sir. The reports are generating now. I'll have them to you by end of business. OK. Yes, sir. OK. Sorry. Uh, 
How can I help you, Shelby? I just left the Miller farm. Is it true that you all called in their note? I'm not at liberty to discuss that. But we have had to make some tough decisions this quarter. What about us? Sorry, you should be receiving your letter today. What does that mean? If you can't bring your account current, we'll have to begin foreclosure proceedings. By when? January 2nd. I'm sorry, Shelby. I just want to let you know that Pine Valley Savings and Loan appreciates your business. It's been a pleasure working with you over the years. You know, if you're going to do business with him, you're going to want to keep both hands on your wallet. <laughs> uh, like I said, we appreciate your business. We'll get that paperwork out. Less than three weeks. What are we going to do? Talk to grocery woman. Mm -hmm. She said she can't do anything until after the holidays. Hmm. I've got an idea. What? Mason. Mason? No, he doesn't have that kind of money, and if he did, we wouldn't take it from him. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. I've got another idea. It'll work, Shelby. Daddy, I can't. No. It's a good idea. Absolutely not. No. No! Oh. Everything okay? We got the final notice on the house. We have until January 2nd. OK. My father has some harebrained idea. All right, let's hear it. He thinks that we should have a concert benefit concert here on Christmas Eve, and I mean, I cannot believe I'm getting ready to ask you this. Mason. Would you play here on Christmas Eve? That's it. Please. No, I mean, is that all you need? Yeah. Of course. Shelby, I'd be happy to help. All right. So this is a business deal, and we'll split the proceeds. OK. What about merchandise? I don't know. What about it? Well, how do we split that? I think it's whatever standard. OK. Standardly, I get to keep it all. Oh. Well, OK. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Whatever you want, Shelby, honestly, I'm, I really am happy to help. Great. So we got a deal? You bet. Pleasure doing business with you. This hasn't changed much. No. How old were you when you first came through here? 16? No. Yeah. No, I just played my first show at Harper's. July 4th. OK, guys, here we go in three, two. OK, that was David Bowie and uh, Bing Crosby with Little Drummer Boy, one of my favorites. Mine, too. Really? Yeah, I love the mix of the old and the new with David Bowie and Bing Crosby. Hey, if uh, some of you listeners out there think you might recognize that voice, then you are probably correct. Joining us today in studio is our special guest, Mr. Mason Wyatt. Welcome. Good to be here. Oh, it's good to have you. Good to have you. And joining him as well is Miss Shelby Haygood, a local business owner. 
Good to have you. Uh, hey, hey, y'all. <laughs> I know. Uh, I know you all have uh, have come up today to talk about an exciting event that's uh, about to take place, but. Uh, I can't resist talking a little music first, if that's okay. That sounds good. 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 We just found out, of course, that you're a Bing Crosby fan. What about, uh, what about some of your other Christmas songs you like? I love all Christmas music, to be honest with you. I'm a big fan in general. But uh, Johnny Mathis. Yeah. Perry Como. Andy Williams. Uh, Dolly Parton. Amen. Darlene Love, Please Come Home for Christmas. There you go. Uh, John Lennon, Happy Christmas. Mm -hmm. Uh, John Mellencamp, I saw Mama kissing Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. uh, John Denver and the Muppets. Oh, man, yeah. That's the best. Uh, yeah, the boss, of course. Oh, Santa yeah. Claus is coming to town. Oh, preach it, brother. Yeah. But still my, my favorite to this day is uh, Nat King Cole singing Oh Holy Night. Really? Yeah, yeah. My mom used to put that on every Christmas Eve. She would break out the vinyl and put that record on, and I still can't listen to that song without breaking down. Huh. To be honest, which is why I'm so excited that we're doing this concert to honor Christmas, which my mom loves so much. Well, I'm glad you brought that up, Mason. Uh, why don't we let our listeners in on what, what's going on with you guys? So, what's what's cooking? Shelby, what's cooking? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, um, on December 24th, we're we're having a, a concert at the farm. And you remember when we used to do those downtown? We would put on those Christmas concerts and those cantatas. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Chet Atkins came to one of those. Don, uh, Doc Watson as well. Exactly, right? Well, I, I love those. I miss those, and I think a lot of you guys do too. And so I, I wanted to do them again. And I uh, just kind of wanted to bring things back to the way they used to be. Uh, with that in mind, I thought one of the best things we could do is to help out one of our own who's in need this Christmas. And so we're putting on a benefit concert for the classic Hey Good Farm where things have stayed simple, and we want to keep it that way. So the event starts early. You guys will still be able to go to church later on that night and uh, hang the stocking the way it's supposed to be hung. Uh, I think we open the doors at 10 a.m., and you've got all kinds of craziness planned. Why don't you tell them about that? Uh, yeah, we've got hay rides, petting zoo, uh, food for everyone. Santa's, Santa's going to be there, and, and Mason's going on in the afternoon. And it's a very fair price, too, I might say. Am I right? Well, we think so. It's, it's $15 a person, and, and kids under five are free. We think it's a great way to spend a very important day with the people that you care about. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Let's give our, uh, our listeners a chance to win some tickets now. If you'll be our ninth caller and can tell us one of your favorite Christmas songs, then we will get you some tickets. And we're going to talk uh, Mason into doing a live number for us now, if you don't mind. What are you going to do for us? I'm going to do a Come All You Faithful. Good. those flights. So it's official. All right, give me 10 minutes. I'll call you back. <laughs> Good morning, son. Morning, everybody. Good morning. We were just uh, recounting that church picnic 
we took down by Roberts Creek. Do you remember that? Oh, I remember. Oh, you know, please tell me. You are not going around still telling that lie. No, I, it's the truth, but I do tell the story every time I get a chance. Yeah. Okay, maybe it wasn't a lie, but it's a drastic exaggeration. My favorite kind. Mm, I'll tell it like I saw it. Well, you need to get your eyes checked then. Oh, yeah, I didn't see you running out of the forest like some bear was chasing you. It was a brisk walk. I will give <laughs> you that. Oh, you come busting out of there full throttle. Run over that blanket that's loaded down with tater saddle. Daddy! <laughs> Yeah, and I, and I forget, um, Shelby, was was that a bear? Stop! Now you know, you know it wasn't, so stop. What was it? Can you help me? It was the biggest bunny rabbit I've ever seen. <laughs> you were running for your life from a bunny, Shelby. Well, listen, I saw eyes and ears, and it was coming at me, and if I had to do it again, I would. It was a very big bunny. I will give you that. All right. You'll need to stop, okay? <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> hey, can I talk to you up front for a second? Yes, please, gladly. <laughs> they look cute together, don't they? You all right? Yeah. What's up? Uh, I have an offer. You have an offer? Yeah, I have an offer to play in Seattle tomorrow night. It's a big deal. Uh, so you're leaving? You're not going to be here? I'll be here. It's... Uh, I don't know, one of the headliners broke his leg skiing or something, and the promoters want me to come in and play tomorrow night and then pick it back up on the 27th. So I fly out a few hours, play the show, and then come back first thing, uh, morning of the 24th. So nine, nine. all the time, all right? Look, this is a good offer, Shelby. All right, the one I've been waiting for. You know I need the money, and uh, I need the fresh start. Mason, just stop. You know, we've been here before. You leaving, promising to come back. This is different. How's it different? This place it means everything to me, and you know that, and you're still choosing to leave. I mean, this is it. This was, this was our last hope. I'll be back. <laughs> you, you have said that to me before. I promise I'll be here. <laughs> so stupid. God, it's stupid, you know? It's like, it's stupid for believing in you, stupid for thinking that you've changed. You know what, Mason? You do what you always do which is whatever's best for Mason Wyatt, and I'll do what I do. We just expect nothing from you. Imagine that's my head. I turned him down. 
so be I. Never should have left you in the first place. I don't know why I didn't come back. Why I waited so long to write, call. So many decisions that I made, things that I've done. Honestly, I don't know why I've done them. I wish to God I could take them back. But I can't. I'm here to stay. I can do this on my own, Mason. I don't need you. Yeah, I know. I need you. Always have. Always will. <laughs> uh, so... Now I'm gonna go sleep back to my room. Because I have a concert to get ready for. Smoky Mountains and Merry Christmas Eve. It's a beautiful day in these mountains and it's a beautiful day to be alive, folks. Only one more day until Christmas morning and the big guy hops down the chimney. <laughs> we are live here today at the Haygood Farm for a Christmas Eve to remember. We have quite the turnout today. People have come from, well, all up and down these Smoky Mountains to help one of their own. Today is truly a miracle that can only happen on Christmas Eve. You can truly feel the spirit of Christmas out here, folks, and we've even got a Christmas raffle with a prize you don't want to miss. Now, if you aren't here, then uh, you're really missing out, so come on over and give us a visit. All the proceeds will go to saving the Haygood Farm and all those wonderful pies that you all love so much. So, what do you think about all this, Miss Shelby? Uh, <laughs> it's amazing. It is amazing, isn't it? <laughs> it is. I mean, it just... It means so much to me and to my family. I I love this town. And I love these people. Yeah. And we love Christmas. We do love Christmas. <laughs> we do. <laughs> so no matter what happens here today, you know, this is gonna be this is gonna be a day that we won't ever forget. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome, honey. You're very welcome. No problem. Thank all of you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Mason Wyatt. Thank you guys so much. It's good to be back where it all began. I want you guys to remember something. There's always hope. You can always come home. So, with that in mind, I thought we'd start off with a little seasonal music. Is that all right? Sorry, darling. It's okay. Thank you for everything. It's the Harrison woman. What? The grocery lady. She's right here. Well, hello? I... 
Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, we can do that. Yeah, we, we could we could do that. Thank you. Oh, okay. Y yes. We can have an order out that soon. Absolutely. Thank you. Yes, Merry Christmas to you too. Okay. <laughs> she she saw one of our flyers and then heard the concert on the radio and and and, and she loves our story. <laughs> And Harrison's loves our story. She wants to help. She's going to put us in all her stores. She's going to turn in a VO. We're going to get the money the day oh. after tomorrow. Oh, thank you, Lord. Let's go celebrate inside. It's cold out here. Yeah, I want to change my Facebook. Amen to that. I got bank So, um, I was wondering. Uh oh. I was wondering if you would dance with me. I think dancing with you would be hazardous to my health. Fair enough. I just... Jason, I'm kidding. I'd love to. Right? Always. No matter how hard life is, no matter how much we've messed up, or how broken our lives have become. At Christmas, good things can happen. So when it comes to it, I believe a baby was born in that manger. Merry Christmas, Shelby Bell. Merry Christmas. I believe in Christmas. I believe in hope. Yeah. 